Hi, I'm Larry Whitmer. And I'm Emily Caggiano, and welcome to another episode of Dissecting with Emily. And so for this episode, we wanted to come back to the T-Rex holotype specimen that we obtained on loan from the Carnegie Museum of Natural History a few months ago. And so today we wanted to give you kind of a brief overview um, of the denaries, which is kind of the forward part of the jaw of the specimen. Yes, yeah, so what we've got here are the right and left denary of the holotype of T-Rex. The right denary is shown here in lateral or external view, the outside. The left denary here is in internal view, medial view, or sort of the, the inside um, of the jaw. I mean, why don't you show folks what we've got here on the right denary. So there are a few features we wanted to point out to you guys. Um, you can see that there's this kind of line of holes that runs down the side of the denary. And this is actually for blood vessels and nerves that would come and supply the gums that would sit along with the teeth. Um, there are also some pathologies we wanted to point out. There's this really large hole right here and a smaller one down here. We think this is from infection, whether parasitic or bacterial, we're not really sure. Um, and lastly, we have kind of these marks down here, which we're pretty sure are bite marks, presumably from another T-Rex, because what else would want to bite a T-Rex other than another T-Rex? Um, and so this actually provides evidence that these animals engaged in face biting behavior because they did leave those marks. Yeah, and actually if you look over on the, the left side here, we see more signs that these guys live pretty tough lives. There's some sort of a, a healed wound right down in here as well. So again, on this internal view, again, we can see teeth. Um, we can see uh, structures here called interdental plates that would have been covered up with uh, the, the gingiva or the gums. This area right here is called the symphysis. Uh, it's where the chin basically would be. This is where the left uh, dentary and the right dentary would meet um, or articulate. Now, part of the reason we got these specimens on loan was so that we could CT scan them, um, and we did. And what we're looking at here between us here is uh, CT scans of this left dentary right here. I'm gonna run around the camera and let uh, Emily tell you what's going on with the CT scan. So again, um, this is the lateral or outside view of this dentary, and this is the inside or medial view. Uh, you can see here's the rod that they put in. Uh, they also put in some extra little wires into the teeth um, to give them some extra support if they broke or if they were just weak. Um, but you can see that there are pretty much two sort of types of teeth here. You have these larger teeth, which have pretty much erupted from the gum and are like um, essentially grown up teeth. Um, but you can also see that there are these really small teeth kind of down in here in the gum still, and these um, are essentially baby teeth that are going to come up, push the grown up teeth out of the way and replace them. And this occurs because T-Rexes are um, in fact reptiles, and so they're going to continuously replace their teeth in waves throughout their lifetime. And so that is one of the reasons that we CT scan the specimen. Yeah, so what we wanted to do with this video is really just provide an overview of what these dentary bones of the holotype of T-Rex look like. Um, and so with that, I'm Larry Whitmer. And I'm Emily Casciano, and that's all for today. Yeah. Got it. Nailed it. All right, I think that's got it. That gets the ring.